disappointment of last night. It'll be a massive reaction, I think, and kickback from this blitz block. They didn't do that, as you spoke about. It's noticed from the outside. So they'll come out, and I'm glad ah! Neil Powell's given that starting lineup an opportunity to show up. Yeah, Selwyn Davids leads South Africa out onto Cape Town Stadium. There's the record. That big win over Chile on Friday night in the round of 16, and then it all came to a grinding halt against Ireland last night. They conceded 17 unanswered points in that match. Argentina were well in their game against New Zealand. The one try to Herman Schultz, but the two tries to New Zealand was enough for them to get through to the championship semi-finals later on. Francisco Gonzalez from Uruguay, your referee for this one. The crowd are filtering in here into this magnificent stadium here in Cape Town. And he's the story as well, Neil Powell, his last tournament as head coach, innovative. He's written the roadmap of Rugby Sevens Academies that so many nations have now followed. He won't be taking away the title in his last event, but they can play for fifth place. Gaston Revol, the veteran Argentinian, gets this one underway. It's into the hands of Luciano Gonzalez for Argentina, gets away from Makata, deep into South African territory already, still going, Gonzalez! That's the kind of form that put him in the World Series dream team. How many South Africans did he run through there? Well, that's what he brings, physicality to this game. From the kickoff, they get up and tap it back. They go back into where the ball was, initially hit back, but look at him there, just to stop and go, the strength, look at that body, power absolute terminator well that's five broken tackles in one carry from luciano gonzalez absolutely brutal for the big cordoban tobias wade with the kicking duties for argentina remains at five nothing but what a season this man has had so South Africa under pressure again. Robola can't win it. Herman Schultz has it for Argentina now. High tackle. Ten. Decision goes their way as well. Los Pumas is good off. Osadzuk came up with a charge down that led to try last night. El flowed there for De La Vega, and he's over as well. That's two for Argentina. And if we were expecting a response from the blitz box after the disappointment at last night, well, we haven't seen it yet. Two restarts from Argentina, two restarts retained through Mateus Otsatsu. He's the one who gets back effort on effort, reloads, and then again, it's that big man, the physicality of Gonzalez, straightening the ball. This time, he gives that left hand ball away to De La Vega, what a start from the Pumas. Let's not forget, they won the Vancouver gold medal. They went into the Toulouse Sevens in May, leading the series for the first time in their history. Ended up finishing fourth. Blitzbox finished second overall, just pipped by Australia in the final round in Los Angeles. On form, perhaps this isn't a surprise either. 12-0, Argentina leading South Africa. What have they got? JC Pretorius, so often the fulcrum of this South African team and he's taken the responsibility into his own hands. And boy, didn't the Blitzbox need one of their big time players to step up, he's done just that. Well, he's been fantastic the first couple of days. JC Pretorius, here's the physicality needed from the Blitzbocker. It's been laid through the platform of the likes of Frankie Horn, Chris Dry, Kyle Brown. Now this fella here, JC Pretorius, making a statement. Well, that changes the complexion of this game, as might this. It does, doesn't have the distance, the conversion attempt from Ronald Brown, but they call him the Terminator. JC, Johannes. Christopher Pretorius. Selwyn Davis. 
the opportunities in the game against Ireland last night. Kicks deep, well chased, well timed. Gone over the sideline, they'll get the line out throw, South Africa. Now this will be interesting, KT. They lost three line outs on their own throw last night. Yeah, and it really was the story in their quarter final. And that was because of Ireland's Harry McNulty really oh, disabled them. But there's two coaches, fantastic coaches as well. Brown throws to Petorius. It works out for them. Crowd appreciate that. Selwyn Davids. Duplessis. He has Angelo Davids. Who is left? Did he step on the sideline there? Just managed to stay in field. Well, Sudza puts him on the floor. Ronald Brown. Ronald Brown's hit hard by Tobias Wade. It's into okay. the hands of Iskoro now. Okay. Knock on. Here. Yeah. So knock on in the tackle. No. So knock on. A double knock on, yeah. Blue okay. scrum, yes. Okay, so Thank it will you. be a South African feed, yeah. Knock on in the tackle. A lot of confusion My there. Blue. Argentinians thought they had it. Thank you. Ronald Brown needed to release that ball a lot earlier. Knock on in the tackle. It's done their homework, Argentina, haven't they? Even though yesterday yeah. Ronald Brown was carrying the ball, I think, in the middle of the field, just a little bit too much, too close to the line. Has to yes, make a quick course. decision if he does that. Crouch. Didn't on that occasion, got stunk. But gets away with it. He's a player who's been player of the final and two Set. gold medal winning Square. performances. Remember Square. this South African side won four straight gold medals on the series last season before it all changed in Singapore. Selwyn Davids gets it on the outside. He's got Muller Duplessis with him. Crowd getting behind their team. Six metres out South Africa. Ronald Brown. Christy Krobela. He offloads the ball in contact to Makata. Angelo Davids, little hitch kick. And he's in and around for South Africa. The conversion will be the levelling score. Yeah, that's better attack-wise from South Africa. Coming to this near side, I'll sit up nicely. By Mula Deep Duplessis. John Price last. I like this because he's such a big man with a nice footstep. He takes out three defenders. We're able to clear the ball quickly. Makata, draw on pass on the outside. Well executed. Yeah, one of the sharpest finishes in the world of rugby sevens, Angelo Davis. Ronald Brown. That's another couple. We are 12 each. When you think about the squad in terms of the Blitz Bocker, Rupert, they had to get up for the Commonwealth Games. They were absolutely massive. So to be able to come back down and try and get up at home, man, that takes a lot of mental fortitude. Yeah, I mean, they put on a masterclass in that Commonwealth Games final against Fiji. I've not seen Fiji dominated in a cup final like that before. But they've been inconsistent. They went to Los Angeles, finished 15. This is just unprecedented for them. Back. Came here with huge expectations going, to the going. World Cup, yeah. playing for fifth place. Argentina come away with it, ball loose, Herman Schultz is there. Not gone, okay. Advantage Argentina. Not gone, tackle. In sevens, you get one pass or kick, and then it's advantage over. Oh, so we'll play on now. Here's Iskro. Rodrigo Iskro, Selwyn Davids on copy book tackle. This very knowledgeable rugby crowd here in Cape Town appreciated that. Here's Gaston Revolt. Just buys a bit of time. The most experienced player of all time for Argentina, and he'll take the medicine, dink it over the sideline. They will go to drinks, level here. Argentina and South Africa, 12 all at half time in the fifth place semi. Such a together outfit, this Argentina Sevens group at the moment. Santiago Gomez Cura. Has lifted the levels of this team this season. Mental battles. Here is Santi in the blue beanie. 230 tries as a player. Third all time on the try scoring chart. 61 events. Absolute legend. Okay, 
ਉਸ ਕਾਈ ਜੀ ਬਾਉਸ ਕੀ ਨਾ ਤੋਫ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਕਰਾ ਸੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਟੈਕਸ ਕਰੀ ਦਾ ਆਪਕੀ ਫੋਨ ਕੋਲ ਉਸ ਮੋਟਰ ਦੀ ਕੀਮਤ ਕਲੇ ਬਹਿ ਉਸ ਸਟਾਪ ਹੋ ਸੋਰੀ ਪਰ ਤੂੰ ਦੇਖਿਸ ਨਾ ਉਸ ਕੀ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਫੋਰ ਦੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੋ ਫਾਈਵ ਟਾਈਮ ਉਸ ਕਰੀ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਬਾਉਸ ਸੇ ਸੀ ਹੈ ਇਨ ਅਲ ਕਰਾਈਅਰ ਲ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਰਿਅਲ ਇਸ ਲੂਕ ਸੋ ਕੁਸ ਮੋਰ ਫਿਲਿੰਗ ਡਿਫੈਂਡ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਪਰ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਕੀ ਕਰੈ ਕੋ ਇਟ ਟੈਕਲ ਕਰੀਦ ਰਾ ਔਰ ਆਈ ਆਲ ਸੇ ਕੁਸ ਫਿਟ ਉਸ ਮੂਟ ਬੀਟਰ ਟੈਕਲ ਉਸ ਮੂਟ ਸ਼ੋਜ਼ ਅਮ ਬੋਡੀਜ਼ ਕਰੈ ਬਾਈ ਹਾਊਸ ਜੇਜੀ ਕਰੈ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਸਕੋ ਨਾ ਦਰ ਮਾ ਕੋਰ ਕੀ ਉਸ ਮਾ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸ ਸ਼ੋਜ਼ ਅਮ ਬੋਡੀਜ਼ ਕਰੈ ਉਸ ਕਰੈ ਲਫ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਦਾ ਤੁਸ ਕੋਟੇਸ ਮੈਸ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਨ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਈ ਬਾਰ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੈਨ ਕਨ ਸਟਾਈ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ Coming up, the second of the fifth-place semi-finals, France playing Samoa. These are the teams that lost their championship quarter-finals last night. But we're halfway through South Africa against Argentina. Yeah, there's plenty of support for them despite losing that quarter-final against Ireland last night, and they're level at 12 each against Argentina. And the man who has led them to three Sevens World Series title, two Commonwealth Games gold, an Olympic bronze medal, who has. Been absolutely brilliant and how he's reinvented their rugby academy program at Stellenbosch. He's moving on to be defence coach at the Sharks across in Durban with Carl Tanana. This guy's just given so much to Sevens rugby. 100%, you know, and the way he's done it, he's done it with class, humility, respect. And I think that's why he's upheld in the way he is. And regardless of how it went for this tournament, it's not going to change his legacy whatsoever on the game of Sevens. Overcooked the restart from. So and Davids so often gets those ones right. Andovichis just a little bit too far, so it'll be a free kick. Cast on the ball. You could take the scrum here, should they so choose, but looks like it's a set play for Los Pumas Sevens. Tobias way back to Rabol, just shows the ball through a half gap. Tobias way to Herman Schultz, who scored in the quarterfinal against New Zealand last clear. night. That opened the scoring in that game, then they conceded a couple of tries. Wade again. Isco, who's been excellent. Powerful player. Or Sadzuk. Speaking of power, here's Herman Schultz. On Christy Grovela. There's an injured Argentinian player on back play. They're playing with six at the moment. Might work out for them though, Isco, but look at JC Pretorius going in for the strip. Wade. Spot tackle coming in. Gonzalez. Look at him, he's just all oh, muscle, Body, isn't he? That try in the first half. Oh, no, here, here, Absolutely here, here. extraordinary. Here. And what I've noticed in this World Cup in particular, Rupert, defensively, a lot of teams, when they take it out wide, oh, used to drift across, and they call it jockeying, wait for the inside okay. defence to come and cover that. Now everyone's starting to jam in and force that player on attack to make that pass under duress. It's a real feature, and you can see why there's a lot of players with hands on hips. It is physical. Absolutely, especially this one. Yeah, changes for Argentina. Gonzalez yeah, and Wade and Revol. Revol's limping to the sideline. There he is in the bottom of the shot. So Gomez Corus had to ring the changes here. Okay. Couple for South Africa as well. Impy this is out there. Sean Williams as well. well is being oh, here. Here. And limping along is Christy Grovela yeah. to the bench. Western Province man. Several of them playing Crouch. in their home city. Here in Cape Town. Find. Set. Alejo Lavallian. Runs off the base and gives it to Osadzuk. He's got all the power and size you need. Oh, that was perfect. Off the set piece from Los Pumas. They come from the scrum. The hooker couldn't get out quick enough for the blitz blocker, and that's what creates over it. Look at it here. He's stuck in there. That's the four on three. They run lines and holes in between that. From there, that's all about brutal strength. From a stud shock, that's a nice pass, that's a nice hole run, and that's a fantastic power. Look at that balance, realizes where he is in terms of the field and the line. And oh, yeah, he yeah, went away from the sevens program for a while. Matis Osadza played with the 15s with the Haguares, come back into sevens, adds the extra two as well. Argentina again take the lead here, 420 to go in the second half. Seven points the difference. Of course, all these knockout games will go to Golden Point. We're level after regulation minutes. Angelo Davids lifted high by Impivisa. Great strength. 
Selwyn Douglas. Listen. Decides to kick to Selwyn Davis. The runner saw his whop. He was just checked. Coming back is Love again. One of the rookies in this Argentina team. That's all Bazambel is now playing 15 aside at scrum half for the Argentina team. A real platform this sevens program for the 15 aside setup in Argentina rugby. Rosetto, teenage speedster, but he loses possession. South Africa have it. Here's the chance. 320 to go. Down by seven. Visa. Takes the tackle. They got the advantage. There's the penalty. Selwyn Davis. Williams is through. Sean Williams has found a way through this Argentina defensive line. He goes round under the posts, and the extra two from there will level it up again. Oh, what a moment for the young man. They needed something special, and he's provided it. Sean Williams on the back of multiple phases from the Blitzbock Argentina. A lot of arm tackles. They were absolutely spent. Look at their players on the deck. Couldn't go anymore. The crowd goes up because this guy creates something very special. Yeah, Rustenburg born originally from a, a small town on the Platinum Belt in the northwest of the country. Found his fortune in rugby sevens, like Golden Lions, age grades. What a moment for him at his home tournament. 19 all with the extra couple. Two minutes to go. Fifth place semi final, this, but this is exciting stuff. It's time off here while well, some changes are made. He's still all heading to the side okay. of the operation team. Ready? Come on. No Marcos Moneta available for Argentina. He missed the quarter final last night as well. Nothing. Santiago Vitafeld. Oh, he's a Sazuk again bursting through for Argentina. What a second half he's having. He's got Herman Schultz on the inside. He's also got some more support in the form of Augustin Plaga. Good tackle from Selwyn Davids had to be made. Argentina still have it. No, they flick it on. Luciano Gonzalez. 15 metres out. He'll take some stopping and they don't get near him. And Argentina take the lead once again. And it's Luciano Gonzalez, the dream teamer, who comes up with the go-ahead score. But he gets a pass under duress from Lava Yen. This is the initial break of the middle of the park. He loses his inside and outside support. Had opportunities on Sachok. Decides to take it into the setup. It's a good quick clean, but look at this last pass right here from Lava Yen. That is absolutely brilliant to get it out there, to even give him a chance, Gonzalez. Good footwork, straightens up. Tough to stop there, but it's all on that distribution on Come the off. inside. Conversion from in front, no problem. 45 seconds to go. Okay. And it's 26-19 to Argentina. South Africa need a converted try to take this to golden point. We talk about restarts all the time. Feels like we're repeating ourselves, but yet again, we have another situation here. South Africa need the rugby ball. Time gone by, this is really their strength, South Africa. They're going to bring on one of their big guns in Cecil, Africa. Probably one of the more experienced players you could ask for. What a man to bring on this moment. Former World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year, Cecil Africa. One of the all-time greats brought back in the squad by Neil Powell for this tournament. Didn't see him in the quarterfinal last night. Can he be the difference maker here? Been playing on the yeah, really. Sevens circuit, the Club really? Sevens circuit in France of Come late on. for Monaco. Not a bad place to earn your living, Carlton. Decent. Here we go. All important restart here. Argentina lead by seven. Crowd getting a little frustrated here. It's taken an age to kick this ball, so I'm not surprised. 
Seconds ticking down. They do go in the direction of Cecil Africa. It's flicked back by Underlovu over the okay. sideline. Line out. It's a knock on. Line out. It's a knock on. No, it's a line out throw for South Africa. They're going to get a shot here, Carl. Scrum, scrum here. Do your Tony Romo. What's the play here? Well, they're going to have a scrum, so that's good. You're going to have six players in one scrum, area. You're going to have Soy Swafi out on the wing. Cecil Africa, yeah, for me, is the key. What does he want to do? He's going to do something. Look out for the kick, too. They know that's an option with Cecil Africa to the line, but he's got to be some protection in the midfield somewhere if they're going to run it. Find. Sit. Hold on. It's the final play. Is it the final play for South Africa in the fifth place competition? Here is Cecil Africa, one of the all-time greats of rugby sevens. Break down on their own 10-meter line, and Argentina are awarded the penalty. Matias Osazuk steps up when needed, and Los Puma sevens have inflicted a second straight defeat on South Africa here in Cape Town. Wow, well, you can hear the silence around this stadium. Stunned once again, Argentina have come up with a big performance. Santiago Gomez Corda has got one over on Neil Powell. South Africa have been beaten by Argentina by 26 points to 19.